Hey Carmen, your outfit seriously clashes with mine, and it's disgusting. I am so sorry, Belir. It's just that, um, well, I think my outfit looks sort of nice today. I tried. You know, as being part of the cheerleader squad, it's an honor, and you can't dress like that. Precisely. You're sort of throwing our reputation down the drain when you wear clothes like that. <sighs> Um, what's that lady doing carrying a giant candy cane? It's not a candy cane, genius. Ah, run, it's Blair! Hello, your majesty, I gotta go. What's going on? Oh. Ah, ah, ah. Uh-oh, looks like somebody's angry. Yo, dude, that's sort of my cue to scram. See you later, Parker. Watch where you're going! Uh, I, I'm so sorry. I, I don't think you're actually sorry. You know, you could have broken my bone or you could have ruined my outfit. There's so many endless possibilities that could have gone wrong. I'm sorry, I was using my cane and I didn't know anyone was in front of me. I would usually know, but I think you might have accidentally stepped in front of me. Seriously, you're blaming me for this whole incident that you caused? That is so rude. I'm a cheerleader, which means I'm popular, and I'm also just the most popular person in the school. So next time, watch where you're going. Oh wait, you can't. Oh, so sorry. Oops. I'm so sorry, uh... Where's my cane? <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh, uh, sorry. Uh, oh, sorry. Where is it? It's your cane, I believe. Thank you. Well, I know you can't see me or anything, but my name's Everly, and it's really nice to meet you. I was wondering if you need help to get to your first class? Oh, that would be great. Um, yeah, my first class is film. Is it film with Miss Rosa? Cause if so, I have the same class. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's awesome. <laughs> hey, babe. Oh, hey, Blair. Um, I thought you were gonna come to my locker. I was just uh, catching up with Ryan after summer and everything, and boy, you look good. Don't I always look good? <laughs> <sighs> that sounds like something I would say. <laughs> I gotta go to Pottery. See you girls later. Well, I don't mean to interrupt, but shouldn't we all be going to film? Hello students and welcome to film. I am new here and my name is Miss Rosa. This is my first year teaching at the school and I am super excited not going to be saying a lot about me today and let's just start with our first project so our first project I'll be getting you into partners and then you guys will be will be writing a poem doesn't she look a little young to be a teacher reason being why we're writing poems for the first project of this class is because films usually have deeper meanings than meets the eye and poems are a great way of expressing emotions through something symbolic and meaningful you and your partner will have to collaborate your ideas together so it's something you both want to write about. And then you'll create a poem together and present it next class. Are you kidding me? She's teaching us like we're preschoolers. You know, a lot of you probably think that this is silly. And because you're all sophomores, you think that you're superior to me, but you're actually not because I'm a teacher, therefore I have more authority, so don't think that you can overthrow me. Well, if there's no further questions, I suggest you all start working. Hey, do you want to be partners? Uh, sure. Okay, kids, I'll be assigning the groups. Oh, man. Jillian and Andy. Harmony and Everly. Carmen and Ryan. Andrew and Blair. And then finally, we have Iris and Parker. Since it's your first day, if you need help finding your partner, please come up here and I'll help you. Uh, hi, my name's Harmony. Oh, uh, nice to meet you. My name's Everly. What do you think our poem should be about? Well, I don't know. Some things that I value are my friends and 
grades and getting into college and well I have a lot of dreams like a lot um some of them are I want to be in the film industry and that's one of the reasons why I take this class how about you oh I just <laughs> I also want to be in the film industry except I want to direct or maybe write storyboards because I always think that those are super cool and I'm not much of an actress I can be a little timid when it comes to meeting new people well, I guess we can write about our dream, our career, our future. Sounds good. So, Carmen, what do you think we should uh, write about? Maybe about you and how dreamy you are. Bubble space. Maybe we should write about bubble space. Or we could um, write about food. Uh, yes, that is one topic we can both agree on. So, I think we should write about how awesome I am. Or something about, you know, me. <laughs> Blair, you're hilarious. Duh, I know that, but no, I'm being serious. Let's write something about me, maybe my cheerleading career, or... I don't know, anything that has to do something about me. We could write about us. <laughs> That's so cliche, but... <sighs> Unless you want to write about me being team captain for my basketball team. Tryouts are actually today. I'm determined to make it on varsity this year. Last year I was on JV, and uh, this year I better make it on varsity so I can be the best of the best. <laughs> well, I am um, the captain of the cheerleading squad, therefore I am superior. Uh, I think we're about equal. Fine, if you say so. Uh, hi, what's your name? Uh, uh, my name's Iris. Really? That's a really beautiful name. How'd you get that name? Well, I was born blind, and... Iris means rainbow, and I will never be able to see colors. I've only heard of colors, and how beautiful each one of them are, and how unique each color is. What's your favorite color? Hmm... Coral. Coral pink all the way. <laughs> That's fancy, isn't it? Wow. I was expecting for you to say some basic color or something. <laughs> <laughs> nope, I'm far from basic. So, what should our poem be about? Mm, I'm not sure. Should we brainstorm? Yeah, I'll write down my ideas, and you can write down yours, and then you can look at mine, and then we can switch lists, and- I think you forgot that I'm blind. Oh, right, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I- I sort of did. Um, and I also wear glasses, which should probably help me see better, but nope, I'm- yep, okay. I'm just going to stop talking before I embarrass myself even more. <laughs> okay. Oh, so can you not write if you're blind? I mean, I'm not trying to make that sound rude or anything, but like... Oh, no, no. I get plenty of comments and questions from everyone. But no, I I've learned how to write. I've learned how to cope with my blindness. Because I've been... Well, I've never been able to see anything, so it's sort of how I live. If I do say so myself, I act pretty normal. Maybe we should write a story about the two little blind mice over there. <laughs> You know, Blair, um, I actually need to talk to you. Babe, if you're breaking up with me, just say it. I don't want you to blab on about how much I'm perfect and everything. Just uh, get to the point, okay? Because uh, I've already had my heart broken so many times. And, like, I thought you and I really had something. But, like, if I'm wrong, then... Blair, no, I'm not breaking up with you. I love you a lot. But I also really love grades. Which is something I thought I would never say, but I really need to get my grades up this year. Sophomore and junior year are supposed to be the hardest years of our high school career. Last year I got C's and D's in all my classes and even an F. Except I got an A and P, which was great, but other than that, I'm a failure. Oh, you're not a failure in my eyes. I got a lot of C's last year also. But if I want to get into college, get a basketball scholarship, I need to do better. I'm doing less goofing off this year, and I'm gonna be more serious about my grades and my schoolwork. Ah, but I'm always your number one priority, isn't that right? Of course. <laughs>